McCarthy publicly charges that the United States is infested with foreign forces at work in our politics. And he says that he has a list of 600 Twitter accounts that appear to be linked to the Russian government. That's a lie. These Kremlin-linked accounts. These Kremlin-linked accounts. These Kremlin-linked accounts. Russian-linked accounts. Kremlin-linked accounts. A foreign influence. Kremlin-oriented Twitter accounts. Kremlin-linked Twitter accounts. Russian-linked Twitter accounts. Impersonating Americans. They are every day playing on social media. There's a website called Hamilton 68 that measures it. This Russian influence tracker on Twitter. The Russian dashboard is a real-time dashboard of Russian influence. You know, the Russian networks that we monitor. Accounts allegedly linked to bots and trolls that are linked to Russia. Russia linked accounts and bots according to a Russian tracker. To track what Russian bots are doing. Kremlin linked accounts. Kremlin efforts. Kremlin attacks. The dashboard, Hamilton 68, determined that Russia was in the Alabama election. We know that the Russians were focused on this. These forensic sites show what the Russians are doing to us. Interference from Russians. These Russian intrusions. Russian influence Twitter accounts. Connected with Russia, we're interfering. The impact of McCarthyism is felt across the United States. The Russian bot posed a grave threat to democracy. Now, this data comes from Hamilton 68. That's a web dashboard, and it tracks around 600 Russia link accounts, and it doesn't provide the names of those accounts. I will not give those names. Because if it did, uh, the Russians could simply change them. You f***ing kidding? Russian bots obviously connected with Russian intel agencies getting involved in a school shooting. What the hell is he talking about? The horrendous shooting at the high school in Florida. Russia played a role. Bots that spread false information on Twitter when it comes to the shooting in Parkland, Florida. Russian social media bots seized on the Florida shooting. Russian trolls tweeting about Parkland. Russian bot army pounce. Russian bots and trolls already attacking these already. kids. How do you feel when you see one of these kids manipulated by Russian bots or others? Uh, are you fucking kidding me? So, Ken, what are these bots trying to accomplish? Well, they're trying to fan the flames of political discord in our country, Stephanie, which is not that difficult to do. Russian bots have helped drum up support on social media for the release of this Nunes memo. A classified report about alleged bias at the FBI and DOJ. Devin Nunes got it trending on Twitter with a little help from Russian bots. The leading troll hashtag from the Russian troll farm is release the memo. Russians and release the memo. This release the memo hashtag is the top hashtag among Russians. Russian bots and trolls, according to Hamilton 68. Russian linked Twitter accounts increase their use of the hashtag, release the memo. Russian backed social media accounts. Russia's attempts to interfere in U.S. politics. Research shows Russians interfering in our politics. Russia linked Twitter accounts working to help American politicians. So you have House Republicans and Donald Trump Jr. tweeting, by the way, on the same page as these Russian bots and trolls. The hashtag release the memo. We know was being pushed by Russian bots. Russian bots in the hashtag. Hashtag release the memo. This bot thing amplifying the release the memo hashtag. And Russia used these bots, swarms of them, to advance certain hashtags like release the memo. It was Russian bots and trolls fueling release the memo. Russian bots fueling this, this hashtag release the memo. Fueled by Russian bots. Which has been linked to Russian bots. Researchers have traced it to Russia linked accounts. That's what popularized that, Stephanie. It blew up overnight. Some could make the argument that that Devin Nunes memo also blew up. It was nothing. Russian bots. They're creating an echo chamber. They're creating an alternate reality. All right, up next, they are back. Russian bots working overtime to influence Americans and lawmakers. Russian propaganda networks are working to influence public opinion, even now with the Release the Memo campaign. Yeah, literally Russian bots on social media distributing that hashtag like wildfire. Republican memo pushed hard by Russian bots. Twitter bots. Russian Twitter bots. Helps make the Release the Memo go viral. The Russian bots, in terms of this memo. Russian bots heavily pushed release the memo. Kremlin linked bots. The automated accounts calling for that memo's release. We saw it promoted heavily by accounts associated with Russian disinformation campaigns. Russian Twitter bots. Attack of the bots. Early promoters of the hashtag meet basic criteria for bots. For trolls. Release the memo was pumped out by the bots. The Russians, their secret service, their bots flooding with hashtags release the memo to interfere in an American debate. Experts tracking Russian influence campaigns. 
campaigns blame Russian bots and trolls. The release the memo hashtag seemed to go viral organically, but new research is showing that it was Russian backed accounts, Russian backed accounts, these bots, if you will. New research is showing us that Russian backed Twitter accounts, researchers say Russian backed accounts, Russian backed accounts, manufactured accounts, malicious automated accounts, automated accounts, or bots guide Trump toward a Russia backed agenda. Those Russian backed accounts released the memo, picked up so much momentum that it began capturing the attention of major media organizations because of bots. Heavily pushed by Russian bots, that's a matter of public record. If there's anybody out there that questions that, I can't wait for you to grab your Cheetos uh, and put on your tidy whities and go down to your mom's basement and start typing that blog Join away. The bots. That will be that will be interesting. <laughs> and, and by the way, order up your Russian bots. And the Russian bots that they are sending out are going hashtag release the memo doing the bidding of Vladimir Putin and his intelligence agency. They are on Paul Ryan's side. They are on Kevin McCarthy's side. They are on Devin Nunes' side. They are on Donald Trump's side. Russian intelligence agencies. Russian Russian intelligence agencies and the Russian bots are all pushing the hashtag release the memo. The Twitter activity around this release the memo thing and the pro-Russian uh, of, of forces. Hashtag right. release the memo. I mean, you're the, you're, bots. You're the bots. Release the memo. The Russian intelligence uh, services, the Russian bots. The bot interference and the discussion about the memo. Ultimately, the, the president is trying to speak to his base. And if he believes that his base is interested in this ridiculous memo controversy, I think it does mean that they're being manipulated by this sort of manufactured conversation that happens on social media. The Russians are continuing to attack our democracy. They're continuing to interfere in our democracy. These bots have been trying to undermine our democracy. We're now seeing, according to the Hamilton Project, Russian bots. Amplifying things through bots so that we only think things are trending. We've seen what the bots have been doing according to the Hamilton Project. We can't say this stuff enough. So the Russians are still at it. The, the Russians, Russians, many, many Russian bots. The old expression, uh, it's just a can of Russian bots. A thousand Russian bots said that it was George Soros. This is the news, so we always want to be as clear as possible. We're reporting on this just like Russian bots. bots. They get their narrative out there first. Russia-linked actors pushing a propaganda campaign for, yes, release the memo. And then they repeated boosts from those bots these russian bots or sock puppets they actually got the whole thing started the more you hear something the stronger it gets russia linked accounts and bots so that even if you don't believe it the framing bot it's going to get stronger in your brain no matter what wow uh you know i learned from both of you <laughs> to manipulate reality russia's russian bots fraudulent accounts russians impersonating americans online sock puppets on steroids selling released the memo new data showing that russia link bots the foreign bots lending fake support to the hashtag release the memo russian bots the bots picking up this hashtag it was just sort of the right and the russian working together to get that nunez memo out there were russian bots and there were sort of other amplified uh, architecture um but it is this uh, the fusion of the architecture on on social media where the Russian uh, information architecture is sort of right underneath far right and far left um, uh, information uh, structures. What the hell did you just say? A think tank reviewed the Twitter activity of Russian linked bots, automatic accounts, and the release the memo hashtag was the top trending Twitter hashtag by those Russian linked accounts. Russian linked Twitter bots, mm -hmm. Russian linked elements, fake accounts, a Russian linked Twitter campaign. So this effort by members of the Hill and the Trump organization is being fueled completely by the Russian Federation. Hashtag release the memo was promoted by Russian intel agencies. That's right. And Russian bots. And obviously this means the Russian intelligence services. Yeah. As well as Russian bots. As well as Russian bots. Right now, Russian bots pushing this release the memo thing. The hashtag release the memo, the Devin Nunes memo, was also being promoted by Russian bots. There's Don Jr. again. Don Jr., thank you Russians. for being involved. You're Way to so, go. Um, and Russian linked Twitter accounts. Russians are still at it. The Russian bots <laughs> pushing yeah, the push release exactly. the memo meme. Right. Yeah. And also the Russians, the Russian bots. By the way, As Russian we, bots are right. promoting this. According to the German Marshall Fund, a group that tracks their activity. Devin Nunes is trying to release a memo that the FBI doesn't want released, that nobody wants released except... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. The Russians! Yeah. 
great. The Russians with the Russian bots going hashtag release the memo. Hashtag release the memo. Which Russian bots push forward? Russian bots. Devin Nunes trying to release memos that Russian bots want him to release. The Russian intelligence services obviously want him to release. Devin Nunes, he's following the Russians and their bots. Hey, homeless guys. I'll tell you what. There are some really hard problems, like, you know, the Russians playing on Twitter. Russians, these Russian bots. The Russians, the Russian bots. Russian, the Russian bots are at it again. Russia. Bots struck again. Russia. Bots and trolls. Russia. These Russia linked accounts. Russian, Russian bots. Russia. Well, Russian bots come out Russians. after the Parkland shooting. Russian, Russian bots. Russian trolls. Russia. The aftermath of the shooting. Russia. A large number of Russian accounts. Reporters to Joe. Are there really that many? Russian bots. And Joe would say, well, let me go to my data collected by Hamilton 68. Hamilton uh, 68 tracks Russia linked accounts. And they tell us every day which hashtags are trending by this Russian propaganda operation. Portrayed by Russians. McCarthy. Begun an investigation of reported 600 Russia-linked accounts. McCarthy had interrogated almost 600 people. Hamilton 68. Tracks around 600 Russia-linked accounts. It was a fraud. A fraud and a hoax. You know who says that? The Russians. The Russians bots and trolls that we track. A website called Hamilton 68 has been tracking this behavior. Trending over the weekend, Schumer shutdown was the top trending hashtag being promoted by these bots. These Russia-linked accounts. New hashtags trending. These are all Russian accounts. Monitored by Hamilton 68, um, FISA Gate. Russia. Obama Deep State. Russia. We the people demand justice. The Russian the media made it seem as if the Russian bots will be taking over. Kremlin-linked accounts flooded Twitter. Russian intelligence agencies. Russian intelligence agencies Russian sending out bots. Putin sending out bots that are Russian intelligence agencies, Twitter bots, to start talking about releasing a memo. There are Russian bots after the Florida shooting. Right. This is what they do, and they're going to keep doing it unless somebody punches them in the nose. Good night, and good luck. McCarthy loses the spotlight even faster than he had captured it. 